why the narcissist did not come back. We always talk about the Hoover. We always talk about how narcissists tend to return to their victims. They always return to the scene of the crime. But that isn't always the case. Sometimes the narcissist does not come back. And this is actually more common than people think. The narcissist isn't really as tough as people think they are. Many of them are non-confrontational. They tend to avoid arguments, especially those they know they cannot win. And that is why they will often disappear without a trace. Because they know you're on to them. So they will run from the truth. Because they see it as a threat to their false image. And if you've really figured them out, they're not going to come back. They're not going to come back if you maintain no contact. They can't come back if they don't even know where you are. But even if they could, they're not going to do that because they're afraid of rejection. They have too much pride. They're not going to put themselves in a position where they could be at risk of being humiliated. So they will stay ghost. They will stay hidden. You won't hear from them. They may also fear that you will reveal this information to other people. You may disclose to other people about what they're really like and they don't want that to happen. They don't want to provoke you into doing something that would be unfavorable for them. So they will hide. They will find people who are unsuspecting, people who they can deceive. They can't do that with you anymore because you figure them out. You're not someone they can play with. They can't mess with you anymore because you're no longer willing to be their workhorse. You're no longer willing to be their doormat, their punching bag. So they have to find someone else to replace you. Once you take away your emotional investment, they know their time is up. They know they have lost you. So they will avoid you. When the narcissist starts devaluing you, it's because they're idealizing someone else. They have to see you as being bad or wrong, so they can see this other person as being good. They have to see you as a piece of trash, so that they can start getting rid of you. But before they can do that, they have to ensure that this new person is going to be a good source of supply for them. So behind your back they will be doing this. And when they're finally ready to advance this new source to the primary position, they will discard you. 
But if they know that you're still waiting for them and you still have an interest in being with them, they will continue to control you in an unfair and selfish way. They will consider you casually and without making a decision. They will tease you. They will deal lightly with your emotions. They will leave you, but then they will come back because they know you're still hopeful. You're still looking for answers. You're still trying to fix the situation. So in that situation, they will come back. But if you figure them out, if you know who they are, and they are aware of this, they know that their scheme and deception has been revealed, they're not going to be able to manipulate you in the same way as they did before. So they're not even going to bother to hide who they really are. Because they know that you know. So they will just show you. But at some point they have to focus their attention on something else. Because it doesn't make any sense for them to come back to you. You're not going to give them what they want. And they know that because you've already rejected them. You've already caused a narcissistic injury. You've shown them that you have the power to walk away. And once they can see that you're happy with your decision and you've moved on, no, you're not coming back. So they will forget about you. Because they know you figured them out. You know they don't have any value. You know they don't have your best interests in mind. And you turned everything they did to you into something positive. The best revenge is your success. And when they see that you're happy and you're doing well, why would they ever try to come back? When you know who they are, when you know what they're about, when you don't want anything to do with them, it would be a waste of their time and energy. It wouldn't make any sense for them to come back to you when you've moved on with your life. When you're not affected by their attempts to bring you down. They're not going to come back to someone who has put themselves in a position of power. They would be putting themselves at risk. They have to be around people who they perceive as weak. People who are not going to stand up to them. When the narcissist can see that you've moved on and you're unaffected by their attempts to destroy you, it causes a narcissistic injury. It makes them sick. It kills them inside because you foiled their plans. You foiled their attempts to do something so they're not going to come back to you you may never hear from them again because they're sore losers. They get very angry and upset when they lose. So if the narcissist doesn't come back to you, it means that you have won. They're not going to come back to you. 
they will go and find someone who is unsuspecting. Even though they may not be as good as you were to them, they know they can't do anything with you. If the narcissist comes back to you, they still see you as a joke. They still think you're a fool. When they don't come back, it's because they've realized they can't mess with you anymore. So they're not going to bark up the wrong tree. They're not going to do the wrong thing to achieve something intended. They will go and find someone else, someone who will believe their lies, someone who will see them as something special, someone who is unaware of what's going on. So when all is said and done, they will find someone who is how you used to be with them. And they will play their role until they're caught out again. And then they will find another unsuspecting target. The cycle never ends. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.